Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I think we all uh, here on YouTube know about the fracking, but for the sake of anyone that hasn't understood what that's doing to you, uh, I want to let you know the chances are you're drinking toxic water, okay? Uh, lawsuits, I'm reading now from Ascending Starseed WordPress blog, which I will link you to. Uh, lawsuits from individuals who believe their water has been contaminated by hydraulic fracking are coming in all across the United States and support for stricter regulations is growing. This was backed up by a recent U.S. Environmental Protection Agency finding that raised awareness of potentially harmful levels of water contamination that may be the result of hydraulic fracking. Um, I'll skip explaining what fracking is. If you don't know, then just Google it do some research. Moving on, this is new enough stuff that the sheep probably haven't heard about it. In December of 2011, the EPA linked aqu uh, aquifer contamination in a small Wyoming town to natural gas drilling activities, including hydraulic fracturing. These findings by the EPA were a major step in the terms of bringing awareness to the serious situations. Residents of Dimock, Pennsylvania, in an area uh, experienced an upsurge in natural gas drilling, have been living with contaminated water for years as a result of hydraulic fracturing in the area. Water tests at Dimock residents analyzed by the EPA have found toxic levels of barium, arsenic, mag manganese, glycol compounds, among other contaminants. Water wells have been found to be sufficient amount of methane for ignition by turning on the tap. Residents continue to battle contamination, and the EPA has stepped in to launch a new investigation of its own into the water contamination. Day late, dollar short, people. This is happening everywhere, and by now, even if you don't live close to a fracking site, it has gotten into the water supply um, and moved to your area. Now, I'm going to link you to this post. You can read the entire thing, get some more education on uh, how this happens. And more importantly, I'm going to link you to ewg.org, where you can go and uh, find the state report of the water in your area. And uh, this is a great little site that's broken down, very easy uh, to maneuver, and you can find out exactly what's in the water in your area. Um, one thing I did note looking at my area of Kentucky, fluoride wasn't listed as one of the chemicals found. Um, I don't know why uh, it's in there. I know it's in there, and they don't list it, so that's something they are trying to hide from you. But uh, there's a bunch of other things in there that uh, you need to know about. You know, especially coming into these crazy times, we've got zombie apocalypse, and we've got viruses and plagues and die-offs, and you got to be healthy. And you're not going to be healthy if you're drinking polluted water. Hello? Hello? All right, anyway, links to the post will be below in the EWG site so you can find out exactly what you and your kids are drinking um, and why maybe they were trying to eat the hamster. Um, okay, much love, be safe, and do some research. Get off your ass. I know it's Sunday, but, you know, uh, I don't know if there is a day of rest anymore, people. I don't know if there is a day of rest. There's no rest for the wicked. They told you that, right? That means the wicked's going today. That means the good's got to get going as well. Much love. Stay safe. Op stop the bullshit.